Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Now, today we are back here in the Flight Simulator, and we're here to check out a very interesting place. We are on Mars, everybody. We're on Mars and the Flight... Hello there! We've got a Mars man here. What are what are people living on Mars called? Mar Martian, is, I think? Mars person. Hello. We've got another Mars person right here. Damn, that's a cool walk. That's more like a modeling walk, isn't it? That's actually pretty nicely done. Yeah. Well, this is just 2021, everybody. We are here in the flight simulator, having an Airbus A320 spawned in. And, well, what can we say? We have the test facility of Mars here. And for the flight simulator. That's just great to see. Yeah, everybody, for today's video, I decided to check out Mars a little bit here in this flight simulator. Now, for that one, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of a simple flight here. There isn't particularly an asphalt run. What is that over there? Is that like an alien or like an antenna or something like that? Maybe control tower. I don't know what control towers on Mars would look like. Yeah, anyway, I mean, you know, this is a French plane, so it must have some sort of off-road capabilities to it. And let's just go ahead and take off. Yeah. Everybody, a through 20 going off on Mars, everybody. The red planet, you can beautifully see that. And we've got a few the dust clouds here, but that's fine. All right, come on. Take off, plane. Yes. 80 knots. Every Oh, my God, this is going to be hot. Oh, this hasn't gone very well. Alright, let's just pretend that that did not happen here. Then, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. Today we are on Mars. Okay, actually, just kidding. Of course, Mars does not exist as a planet here in the flight simulator. I mean, yeah, definitely. Also, seeing some trees. Are those palm trees? Yeah, that is not particularly that much of a Mars thing either. Yeah, but this is a very beautifully looking desert. Anyway, it looks very, very much just like Mars. Because this is actually Jordan, not Michael Jordan, the greatest president ever. No, we are actually in the country of Jordan. Jordanian, as they call it in German land. As you can see, there's a lot of desert here, a lot of red desert. And I think this is exactly where our interesting <clears throat> Mars airport is. Well, it looks very beautiful. Yes, everybody. What we have here, though, in this Jordanian desert, though, indeed, is some sort of, like, research station here that's supposed to simulate living on Mars. I mean, the visuals are there. Probably not the gravity and the structure of the atmosphere. I mean, I'm pretty sure that an airplane like this wouldn't be able to fly on Mars. Could planes fly on Mars? Oh. Planes can fly on Mars. Okay, that seems interesting. In fact, there's actually been already an aircraft that has taken flight as we know it in a classic way. And that's the Mars Ingenuity helicopter. Look at that. And well, we have that, of course, added into the flight simulator as well. We can check that out later. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about what, what this is. Yeah, this is a brand new add-on here for the flight simulator, the Mars Test Facility. Yeah, now this is, of course, a fictional thing. There isn't actually such a thing in the desert of Jordanian land. But the concept of a Mars testing facility is not that much of a new thing. As for example, there is one Mars desert research station real life here in the Utah desert, which is great. It's on Moonwalk Road if anyone wants to go there. <laughs> Good one. But yeah, this is a very interesting add-on right here, which adds a, you know, a little bit of an insight of what this all could look like. I mean, we can literally, we can land here with an A320. I mean, we barely could take off, but we can technically go here, and then we can check this out. We've got some people walking, not looking very enthusiastic. I mean, honestly, that's quite emo of a walk right there. Come on, I thought it would be a little bit easier even to walk on Mars than on Earth, right? Because Mars is smaller and has less gravity. And, and yes, it actually does. Mars has three times less of a gravity than Earth does. So come on, why aren't you just jumping around? But anyway, let's check this out a little bit. What this kind of looks like is like some sort of trailer park. Also to be often found in the desert of... of look at this, this genuinely looks like a trailer. Ah, oh, great. But let's check this out. What does this look like from the inside? Because this is actually very nicely modeled. First of all, we've got someone sitting at a gaming computer look at this guy this is literally me right now look at this curved display right here what's he doing just typing some stuff D oh damn what what is oh my god yeah my guy you might just want to work on your eyeliner dude what the hell is this right here okay what else do we got right here this is of course a bed right here with some pictures maybe some easter eggs right here oh all right we might have to censor that one right here Great. We've got some uh, more stuff. We've got some people on the Arctic. Why were we even talking about this so long? But well, this is interesting. Like, this is all nicely modeled. All right, so what is downstairs? There's a ladder here. Can we go down? Okay, downstairs, there's just ground. Um, yeah. But yeah, my question is now, why is there a ladder here in the middle of the room? Does it go upstairs? No, it's absolutely... Re that's the most useless ladder I've ever seen in my life. All right, and then we've got another trailer right here. All right, it's the exact same with the exact same pictures. Come on. And then we've got another one right here with actual two floors. Damn, and a little bit of a balcony. Damn, that's it. What does it look like inside? 
Oh, there's nothing here. That's just great to see. I mean, you know, these days we are very much into like minimalism and like minimalistic ideas of, you know, furniture. But much. All right, let's check this one right here. Oh, that's also empty. But at least this litter is not completely useless, right? Right, is this going to be the same copy? Yeah, all right. That's all with a trailer, I guess. I've got one more. Is that going to be any different? No, it's just also the bed and a guy sitting on his sick gaming computer. Look at that. Right, you know, I, you know, that's just a little bit homogeneous, but that's just fine to see as well. Now, there is a very, very big feature that this interesting add-on has, of course, besides the trailers. And it's something to do with uh, what we see right here, a landing pad for some, which uh, is very interesting. And we can already have a bit of a hint at what the scenery can do by looking at the pictures. Rockets. Mars kind of rockets. Yeah. It says it right here. There is a Starship launch, I guess, from Elon Musk, scheduled on the hour, every hour, landings occur 30 minutes past the hour. This is harder to understand than women, but that's just great to see. So to explain this in Espresso Zero one way, in two minutes at 9.30, we will see a landing of a rocket, and then half an hour later, it'll leave again, a little bit of a takeoff. That's gonna be interesting. So yeah, all right, let's actually just wait around for a little bit and just see if there's gonna be an interesting sight in one minute here, a landing. Let's see if it's gonna be butter as well. Where's the landing? Come on. Oh, 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 you guys. Guys, 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 there's something up there. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, look, there's something coming down. There's something coming down towards our little strip right here. Come on, here we go. Yes. It's coming down quickly. Everybody, the starship is here. And it's about to land. Let's check this out. How bad can this be? Come on. Give it a bit of a chance right here. Yes. Maybe a bit of a butter landing. Damn. God, I just noticed how stupid this video is. But here we go. We have a rocket right here. It's landed, everybody. Landed quite smoothly. Yeah, great. Welcome to Rocket Science 001. This is just the best. Vi it's gone! Why is it gone? That's actually quite sad. We couldn't even do like a proper takeoff. So let's just go ahead and do some Mars flying that's realistic ourselves. <laughs> yes. Yes, everybody's a NASA Ingenuity helicopter. Which is also, of course, a thing in the flight simulator. Yes, everybody, welcome to the channel. Now, this kind of RC helicopter looking thing. Let's just go ahead and fly it, see how it works. Come on. Yes, give it a bit of power. Yes. Oh, yes, it does fly like a RC helicopter as well. Okay, can we go into like cockpit view? Okay, that isn't particularly possible. Yeah, as you can see, this is not the biggest helicopter ever. Like, ever, ever. I mean, look at this person right here. Probably doesn't fit a human, so it makes sense that there isn't any cockpit. But, but let's just maybe go and try one more thing right here. I want to actually go and land on this little helipad that we have got down here. Let's do that. Uh, okay, helipad. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Thank you for nothing. Come on, fly. Come on. Here we go. Nice landing. As you can see, this is a good helipad. <laughs> right to see. But yeah, everybody, all the jokes and playing around aside, this is actually a very interesting idea to build this scenery pack. Of course, there's, you cannot even fly any planes here. Of course, this is not meant to be flown to this airport. It's not an airport. With the exception, of course, of this uh, ingenuity thing. Of course, this is just a weird little flight simulator concept, but, you know, maybe humans living on Mars isn't even that stupid of an idea, or that impossible of an idea, perhaps. And now, especially that we definitely know that planes would actually be able to fly as well on Mars in a classic way, just like this helicopter, you know, what, what, I, mean, I don't know what I mean. In fact, you know, they would even be able to fly a little bit more efficiently because of less gravity force and we sorry. I think I very much approve of Mars. Mars is supposed to serve one approved, everybody. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are one, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New the York, and Jackie Boy.